right, what's up guys? I'm here with my wife, Brianna, and I'm gonna do like a little bit different of a video this time because today we have a 1987 pop-up camper. I don't even really know the brand. I can't even remember. Sunlight is, the, I guess, the model or whatever. But anyway, here she is. I'll kind of do a quick walk around. She's a little rough right now, but um, kind of the whole reason we're making this video is uh, kind of a before and after because we have some pretty good plans for this thing. And once it's done, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. But I'll give you guys a tour of the inside. Actually, I'll let Brianna give us a tour of the inside. All right, here's our first bed. All right. And here's our table. All right. There are cushions. We're reupholstering those. We're going to keep this table here. This is our second bed. And then we're going to make like a little U for people to sit at. And then here's our countertop for our kitchen. We're going to have a smaller sink. And then we're going to put another smaller burner in here. This is it. Yeah, she ain't much to look at right now. Um, but neither is the camper. <laughs> No, but, uh, no, she's pretty rough inside right now, but we're going to do quite a bit of stuff. We're going to change the floor plan a little, floor plan a little, like Brianna was saying. It does not have AC right now, but that is one thing we're going to do as well as do like a portable air conditioning unit in here. We're pretty much going to have to rebuild both tables. They're kind of a piece of junk, but, um, yeah, so those definitely need to get rebuilt, but... Yeah, guys, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. We're, by the time we're done, pretty much every single surface of this thing will be touched. Um, we're gonna do a new paint job on the outside. I think we're even gonna attempt painting the canvas. So see how that goes. If it doesn't go very well, we might buy a new canvas. Um, but yeah, this should feel totally, totally different. And we'll kind of take you guys along uh, the process you know, who knows, this might be one video, it might be a couple of videos, probably just try to make it all into one video. So, ready to get started? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. <laughs> all right, the sink cabinet and kind of heater area, that's all, that's all removed. I piled it neatly out the door. We just put the, uh, pop up in the garage. I think it's just barely tall enough to where we can actually set it up. Now it's time to let the real work begin. We got the whole interior gutted. Everything that we want out is out. Brianna has started reupholstering the uh, cushions and stuff in there and it fit in our garage just perfectly. All right, so the next step for the camper is, I know I said it before, but we are actually painting the canvas. So we looked all over online and there's like a bunch of stuff. People talk about doing it, but I can't find like any YouTube videos or anything about people actually painting it. So I'll show you guys kind of what we're doing and then I'll give you maybe like a little bit of a reason why we're doing what we're doing. But um, let me grab the paint over here. So this is the paint we're using. It's uh, Sherwin-Williams paint, we bought it at Lowe's. Uh, but the main reason we are using this is because it's 100% acrylic, which means it's gonna be a lot more flexible and we're actually brushing it on. Um, just about everywhere online says don't brush it on, don't brush it on. But here's my thing is I was really worried about it just sitting on top of the surface on the canvas and not actually soaking into the canvas. And uh, I don't know decent amount of painting experience. I just felt like it would be better to really brush that paint into the canvas, let the canvas actually soak it up. Um, and so far it is working out really well. So you can see this is kind of before and this is after right here. And I think it looks really, really good. It's, uh, it's extremely bendable. We can still bend it and everything. So one of the steps that we're doing before we actually go ahead and paint the canvas though, is we're sanding it down. This is just 320 grit sandpaper, pretty small. I don't want to tear it up too much. But uh, basically this kind of removes any larger debris or anything like that. But it also kind of loosens up the canvas, gets you that good, good mechanical adhesion. 
Um, this canvas was pretty clean, so we didn't really use like a degreaser or anything like that. Uh, if you see that your canvas is, I probably would though. So, yep, we just sand it down and then uh, get to painting. The update on the interior, uh, we, Brianna, has gotten several of the uh, cushions reupholstered, so she's got a few to go. But yeah, we are really making progress on the exterior here. Well, it is finally time to start on the uh, the woodwork, the cabinet work in here. As I'm sure you guys have already seen, Brianna has started on the interior painting and that's coming along quite nicely. All right, time to make this area look, look pretty. This is the wood I bought for the cabinets inside. I think it's three quarter inch birch. So only cost me arm and a leg. The side is now finished. We have the board installed for uh, kind of the, the U-shaped seating. We could have put another seat right here. That would have allowed us, you know, quite a bit more seating. Problem is I think we need the floor space rather than the seating space though. Um, we're gonna need somewhere for the portable air conditioning unit to go, but I think that looks a lot better. And this is kind of what this is gonna look like. Right here, there's gonna be another seat and then the sink and the stove. Um, but yeah, we kind of have this U-shaped seating now, and I think this looks, I think this looks kind of cool. Now for probably the most dreaded part, uh, I have to build where the uh, sink and the stove are gonna go, so I can see how big to make this seat. But I have to totally like, you know, custom make this, so I wish I could just be like you guys and see it done. All right. I wish I was you guys. Yeah, I wish that went when it's fast, but pretty nice. This top will actually pick off and sit on the floor, you know, and the whole thing kind of closes up. But uh, yeah, all we really have to do woodwork wise is um, tomorrow I'm gonna finish the kind of the bench right here. And that's it. Enough for today though. I think it looks pretty good, don't you? Mm-hmm. but the hideaway RV park in Arkansas. Today's the day. You guys have been seeing the camper inside, in a garage, or at least the before. We are finally, finally done with it. I'll walk you guys through the outside and then Brianna can walk you guys through the inside. But we'll pretty much start off with all the canvas was painted um, using like an acrylic paint so it won't break or anything, won't, won't uh, crack. Um, outside was painted all of the frame was painted two new tanks up underneath of there go ahead and just show this camper here and then uh, I'll show you guys a, a shot or two of the before right now while I'm talking you guys can see that it was pretty ugly before so we put this outside table on here that way we can put our gas griddle here so we can do all of our uh, primarily probably do most of our cooking out here actually um let's see what else let's jump to the other side almost nothing was really hooked up right in the camper so everything is hooked up correctly now we have all our water it's all working power is good to go we have running water inside water drains perfectly all the power works um that is pretty much it with the outside i mean there's not really a surface that we didn't touch on the outside but i will uh i'll let brianna take you guys inside and show you around all right, so first when you walk in, 
You see our nice sink? We put this new sink in, has a new faucet. It works. Woohoo! We also have our stove right here, which also works. I don't know, did you hook up the propane? I didn't turn it on. Oh, okay. Anyways, and we also have our curtains here. Let's slide back and forth like this so we can nice. open and close them. We also have our nice table right here, a plant. <laughs> and then here's our beds. These also have curtains just to kind of close off the area so it makes it feel like one space. <laughs> And then we also have some drawers down here for storage. Our nice AC unit. Do you want me to turn it on? Sure. Woohoo! Check that out. And we also painted all this canvas in here so it's the light gray like the body of the camper. That took a very, very long time. It did. Brianna did all that pretty much. Every single piece of painting in here, Brianna did. And we also painted the ceiling. We also have our nice little sectional that we can set several people on. Check that out. <laughs> and then we have our other bed So that Caden's playing on. And then we have our little baby. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much going to finish up the video. Hope you guys like this. I know it was a little bit different. Um, I did want to talk about uh, like, like a price breakdown and kind of everything that we have in this i you know i feel like that's pretty interesting you know if you don't want to know what everything costs here just this is it that's the end of the video but uh so let's see we bought the camper for 1500 bucks right yep okay we bought it for 1500 bucks um the air conditioning unit was three, 320 something like I think, that i think 320 bucks off of off of amazon uh we already had the fridge um let's see for the uh for the plywood that we bought to remake you know a lot of the cabinets in here it was seventy dollars per sheet and we bought two sheets and that was just like just perfect um what did we spend on like reupholstering oh we probably had maybe like six or seven yards so maybe like sixty seventy dollars so like sixty seventy bucks for Plus the 35 for we bought a mattress topper to create new cushions so we probably have about a hundred bucks in reupholstering the cushions i don't really know if that's good or if it's bad i don't yeah, think I don't you could buy new cushions for a 100 bucks i don't think you can um let's <clears> see <throat> what else what else what else the paint we spent Got maybe two gallons of the light gray like 100 maybe like 100 bucks in paint 150 so like maybe like a yeah 150 bucks in paint that was probably the most uh you know bang for our buck that we got most transformation put a light in that was like 25 bucks Oh, oh, the sink. So um, that sink being such a special size actually ended up being a little bit more expensive than kind of what we wanted to pay, uh, but we were willing. So it ended up being, what was that, like 90 bucks, I think? Something, yeah. 90 bucks for the sink, like 35, 40 bucks or something for the faucet. faucet. And then we paid right at like 100 and 110 bucks or something for that, that, uh, that stainless cooktop. So um and i think that is probably a, about it I think that's um we're figuring we probably have a little over 2000 probably more like 2500 bucks in this thing uh it is a 1986 six. Six, 1986 pop-up so I, I feel like we can't complain for 2500 bucks all right well thanks guys for watching uh like i said i know this one was a little bit different but hope you guys enjoyed it Thanks. Goodbye.